in this video lecture we will be discussing few properties of linear transformation so the theorem states if t is a transformation from v to w which is a linear transformation defined from v over the field f to w over the field f then certain properties hold that is t of 0 is equals to 0 where 0 on the left hand side belongs to v this is a 0 of v so you can denote it like this also even and this 0 denotes the 0 on the right hand side Malab, this 0 belongs to w so second property is t of minus x equals to minus times t of x third is t of x minus y is equal to tx minus ty and the fourth property is t of px equals to p of t times x so where p is any integer so let us prove these properties so proof the first property was t of 0 equals to 0 okay now we are given that t is a transformation from v to w so i suppose let t of x equals to any arbitrary w fine where x belongs to v and w belongs to capital w now we can write t of x is equals to t of x plus 0 also okay ab hume pata hai that t is a linear transformation so since t is a linear transformation so you can write t of x plus 0 as t of x plus t of 0 so we have written t of x is equals to t of x plus t of 0 and we have supposed that t of x is equals to some w so it means just substitute the values here w is equals to w plus t of 0 fine and now you can just use the cancellation law by the cancellation law you can just cancel out w and w this implies t of 0 is equals to 0 so this is a very important result whenever you have to check whether the given transformation is a linear transformation or not you can just check that 0 goes to 0 so this is one of the very important result we will be using up in the numerical question for the second part we are given that t of minus x is equals to minus of t of x for all x belonging to v so this is a very simple property because we know that t of minus x can be written as t of minus 1 into x and again since t is a linear transformation so you can take minus 1 to be common and this is t of x and this is nothing but minus of t of x so th that proves the second property now moving on to the third property we are given that t of x minus y is equals to t of x minus t of y again we will be considering left hand side so that is t of x minus y now we can write this as t of x plus minus y again t is a linear transformation so we can write it as t of x plus t of minus y now from second part we know that t of minus y will be equal to minus of t of y and t of x is as it is so we have proved that t of x minus y is equals to t of x minus t of y for the fourth part what we are given is for the fourth part we are given that t of px is equals to p times t of x for every x belonging to v and where p is any integer now we know that integer can be negative it can be positive it can be zero so we will prove this using mathematical induction case 1 when p belongs to positive integer okay and the first positive integer is 1 so for p equals to 1 t of 1 into x is equals to you can write it as t of x that is equal to 1 into t of x so result holds for p is equals to 1 now suppose the result to be true for p equals to m where m is any positive integer so we have supposed our result to be true for p is equals to m where m is any positive integer that is if you are writing this it means t of mx is equals to m times t of x now what we need to prove our result to be true for m plus 1 so we will be considering m plus 1 and we will see that whether we are able to prove this or not so you can write this as 
m plus 1 times x so this is nothing but mx plus x now since again t is a linear transformation so you can apply the property so this will be t of mx plus t of x now using star we know that result was true for p is equals to m so you can substitute its value here from star you can write it as m times t of x plus t of x so this is m times t of x plus 1 times t of x so overall it is m plus 1 times t of x so the result is true for p is equal to m plus 1 hence by induction t of px equals to p times t of x for all positive integers p now case 2 we suppose p to be 0 in case we take p to be 0 so it means t of 0 times x which is t of 0 and we have already proved this is equals to 0 which can be written as 0 times t of x so the result holds for p is equals to 0 in our third case we will consider p to be any negative integer when p is a negative integer in that case again we will be applying the result so let p is equal to some minus q where q is a positive integer now we know that t of px what is this equal to that is equal to t of minus q times x and this can be written as t of q into minus x fine and this can be further written as q times t of minus x again using the previous property you can write t of minus x is equals to minus times t of x which is nothing but minus q times t of x and what was your minus q we have supposed minus q to be p so this is p times t of x so therefore we can say that result holds for negative integers too so now we can say that the result is true for all the integers p so i hope you have four key four properties for more such videos subscribe to my youtube channel thank you